Cell phones have made marketing our music easier than it ever has been before. I mean, you can literally do pretty much everything that you need to do to market your music off of your cell phone. Let's talk about a few apps today that you can use for free that are going to get you marketing your music in the best way possible. You know that we come in liars. Uh, I'm gonna keep praying to God. Uh, tell those little niggas stop it. Uh, to my mama that I got this. Uh, you know that we come in liars. What's going on? It's Pim Fried Rice and welcome to the Music Into Millions podcast where we give independent rappers the tools and resources needed to be successful without needing to wait on a record label. Like I said today, we're going to be talking about a bunch of free apps that you can use to market your music, get your music heard, make great content around your music, and just ultimately promote yourself in the best way possible. So the first one is essentially social media and that would be apps like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, LinkedIn, all those different platforms fall under you know social media. I'm not gonna get too deep into those because we all know what social media is. I just recommend finding two or three platforms that you really resonate with, that you really connect with, and promote your music on those platforms. So me personally, I use Instagram and Facebook mainly. I do a little bit of TikTok content, and then I'm very sporadic on like Twitter and the other ones. But Instagram and Facebook are my main ones. I would suggest, like I said, find two or three that really work for you and just double down. And then as you begin to develop your brand and build your brand out, you can start to move to the other platforms as well. So the next free app that you can use, and I use this one all the time because it's so amazing, is Canva. And now there's canva.com, which you can use on your computer, or there's a literal app called Canva. Both are phenomenal. Canva is a app that is used to make graphics for social media. So it's like flyers, you can make newsletters, you can make cover art, you can just spice up your photos with different elements and icons and stickers. You can make YouTube thumbnails if you have YouTube videos. That's actually where I make the thumbnails for my videos. That's where I make a lot of my social media content. That's where I make a lot of flyers that I use whenever I'm promoting something. Canva is amazing for that. I highly recommend that you use Canva. And the cool part is Canva actually offers a lot of free, there is a paid version of Canva, but they have a lot of free little things like stickers and emojis and icons and backgrounds and elements and all different stuff like that. Super cool. Highly recommend that you check out Canva. The next one I wanna talk about is also a editing app, but this one's a little bit more focused on just overlaying text. Um, basically, it's called Fonto, and it's P-H-O-N-T-O. Fonto basically is you just take an image and then you're able to overlay text on it. So you're able to, you know, type out whatever your message is. You can add multiple different text blocks, change the font, change the size of the lettering, and just pretty much put text on any image. I don't believe that you can use video on Fonto unless you get the paid version. I just use the free version because honestly there are plenty of other apps which I'm going to talk about where you can put videos, uh, text over videos. But that is Fonto, very simple app. I used it a lot. I used it more in the past because Canva kind of has taken its place now but if you don't want to dive all the way into Canva because it gets pretty deep, Fonto is a great way to get started. You can just take pictures, add text on top of it. Now these next three are all made by the same company and from what I remember, I don't know if this has changed, but they are all iPhone only. So if you guys are Android or whatever other phone carrier, sorry this one doesn't apply to you. But for all my iPhone users out there, gang gang gang, I recommend you check out Pixel Loop, Video Leap, and PhotoFox. And these three apps, like I said, they're made by the same company. I don't know what the company is, but all the three apps have a, a picture of a fox on the cover of them. And they are awesome apps for editing videos, editing photos. You can even make moving photos to where like if you have, I don't know, obviously like you're frozen in the photo and then like the background's like a sunset, you can make the clouds in the background move or you can add like butterflies floating throughout or like all types of stuff where it's still technically a picture because you're not moving but there's stuff happening over the picture that makes it a moving event, a moving image which makes it super cool and you can the possibilities are really endless with what you can do with it. Um, those are all the light versions though like Pixel Loop, Video Leap and PhotoFox are the light versions for free. You still can do so much with the app though you don't need the paid version. The only one where I've actually paid for it is Video Leap because now it's essentially a whole video editor on my phone and it's just as good in a lot of regards as like Premiere Pro. I actually have tried um, Adobe's video editor on my phone and had I like it less than I like Video Leap. Like Video Leap 
is super simple, super effective, and it works really well for what I need to do. And it was like 90 bucks for the whole year, so that was like not a lot at all, as opposed to Adobe being $50 per month. Now moving on to the next type of stuff, that was all kind of like graphics, video editing, photo editing. Next would be Anchor. So if you wanted to start a podcast for free and have it distributed to all the major platforms for free, Anchor is the place to go. That's actually what I use to get this podcast, not only, well, I don't use it for YouTube, but to get it on Apple Podcasts and Spotify and Amazon and anywhere that there people listen to podcasts, that happens through me using Anchor, which is a free distribution app. You can record it on your phone, you can edit it on your phone, like add sound effects, background music, um, you could chop up different parts, like if you didn't want to say something or if you want to add something in, you can do all that and distribute it from your phone. Super awesome app. Super easy to understand. I've been using Anchor for about two years now and I highly recommend it to anyone who wants to start a podcast. If you are the type of person who's looking to start a merch line or who has a merch line, I highly recommend that you check out Redbubble. And Redbubble is another one where they have redbubble.com and they have Redbubble the app and they essentially do the same thing. Redbubble is you essentially upload your design to the website or to the app and then you're able to design the clothes how you want it to. So like, say for a shirt like this, you would upload this design and then it asks you like, where do you want to put it on the t-shirt? Do you want to move it around? Do you want to change the color of the t-shirt? Do you want to do whatever? That gives you a lot of different parameters and things you can change. But then the cool part is Redbubble actually holds the design, which means that once you upload that design initially, you don't have to ever worry about it again. People go to Redbubble or wherever you have your store for people to buy your merch and they essentially buy it and then Redbubble prints that shirt on demand and then they take a very tiny portion of the money and keep it for themselves and then you get the majority of the profit. But the cool part is you're actually not losing any money in the long run because you don't have to buy an upfront cost of like 30 t-shirts to keep it home and then mail out to people as they buy them. It's literally you make the design one time, you give it to Redbubble and Redbubble holds it, prints it, sells it, does all the hard work for you. I highly recommend you check out Redbubble as well. Now, I forgot to mention this one when we were talking about social media. There is an app called Repost and it's, I guess, a sub company or sub app of Instagram because what you do is say you find someone who has a post on Instagram that you really like, whether it's a meme or an infographic or maybe you're featured in a music video with someone and you want to share the music video to your page as well. Um, basically, you go over to Instagram, there's those three little dots in the top right of where there's a post. You click on those and it'll ask you if you want to copy the link. Well, you hit that button and then you go over to the repost app, which is free. You open that up. It will actually have the post from that person's page saved in the repost app after you copy that link, which then gives you the option to post it to your Instagram. So basically what it's doing is it's taking that photo or video off of Instagram, saving it to your repost app, and then the repost app opens it back up in Instagram and allows you to post it to your own page as your own content. So it's a pretty cool way to repurpose content if you're ever into doing stuff like that. The next free app I want to talk about with you guys is Twitch. And now Twitch is such an awesome app for those of you who are love to be on camera, love to be live streaming, love to be interacting with people on a fa not face to face, but in a, you know, minute to minute basis, like you guys are getting live feedback and everything like that. Twitch is a great place to do that. So the next time you're in the studio recording, the next time you are working on a song, writing lyrics, Twitch is literally just an app used to live stream and to connect with people. There's a chat in there that people can connect with you and talk with you while you're streaming. There's different emojis that people can use. Awesome, awesome app. It's actually more for gaming, but I use it personally like when I'm making beats and stuff like that. I'll just go live and then let people comment and talk to me while I'm cooking up and just interact that way. Awesome app for connecting with people. And like I said, if you love being on camera and you want to document your journey, I highly recommend checking out Twitch. You can use that one on your desktop and actually record your screen. So like if you're a producer working on like FL Studio, you can record your software or you can do it on your phone and just record it like a regular video. Both work great, I've done it both ways. Another one that I kind of stole from the gaming world and brought into music, I didn't do it personally, but I, that's where I see the majority of people using it, is Discord. 
and Discord essentially is like starting your own private group chat. And side note, if you guys want to join our private Discord, which is filled with a bunch of other independent rappers that are just like you, trying to grow, trying to succeed, and trying to see each other succeed, hit the link down below and you can join our private Discord and I'd love to see you in there, surrounded by a bunch of other rappers who are going to succeed with their music career. But yeah, Discord is awesome because you can post something up, People can comment on it and just give their feedback, talk to each other. It's basically just a massive group chat with each other. You can share links and photos and just have conversations. Super great, super awesome. I highly recommend once you have a fan base or a group of people that you want to connect with, make a Discord with them and just really build a community around those people. That is all the free apps, at least that I have in this video, that you can use to market your music, share your music, make great content, connect with people. These are apps that I've all used myself and I am still using today because they, like I said, they're amazing apps. They all serve their purpose. Some are really great for making content. Some are really good for distributing the content. Some are really good for podcasts, for merchandise, for building a community of people. It depends what you want to do. I know that you're going to find some apps in this video that have helped you. Drop in the comments below which one of these apps you're using right now or if you're not using right now, you're going to be using today because they're just such a valuable app. Other than that, have a great rest of your day. Have a great weekend. We'll see you guys on Monday. Peace. I'm